My name is Brian from Texas, and I have a YouTube channel called Unplugged Texan, where I show people how to live less reliant on the energy grid. Before installing the EP800, we had a standard, standard grid connection, and we have all propane appliances, so propane oven, propane water heater, propane clothes dryer. So the, really the big major energy draws are on propane. A few years ago, we had a major power outage here in Texas. A lot of ice brought down trees, smashed the power lines. So we got a rude awakening of how bad it can be to be without power for a decently long period of time. And I ran a propane generator for a while to power my well, because I have a deep well around about 460 feet deep well that we get our water for our property um, out of that. And we have to pump that using electricity. And we had no electricity, so our, our tanks went dry and we had no water and no power. So that really woke me up. Um, so we started our propane generator to try to power the well for a while to fill up some of the tanks. And we went through a barbecue size tank, a like propane tank, the ones you hook up to your barbecue. We went through one of those in two hours, a full tank in two hours powering our well and some lights in our home. So we, we learned real quick that the propane generator is good for quick short-term use but in a long-term grid outage situation, that is, that's not financially feasible. The big reasons for us putting in the EP800 was to be able to bring the, our electric bill down and put as much of our house, which actually about 95% of the house is on the critical loads panel that is powered by the Bluetti EP800. And when the sun is out, we're running completely off, off grid on that uh, critical loads panel powered by the EP800. And when the sun goes down, the EP800 batteries, we have just under 15 kilowatt hours of battery storage on that. And we run all night on those batteries. And then when the sun comes up in the morning, it powers it again. So we're using the grid really as just for backup power, essentially is what this is doing. We did the install ourselves. My father-in-law uh, was a licensed electrician. He's retired and he helped me out with the installation and it was very easy. It's very modular, uh, the EP800 is, so you can basically bring it in pieces. So you've got three different batteries you stack on it. You can go up to four batteries actually. And then the inverter's on top of that. And you can pull each piece with a hand truck. They're about hundred pounds. They stack up very easily. And the wiring of the EP800, I mean, it slammed together so fast because it's all modular, stackable. And even the cables that you use on it, they just snap in place. So you're not having to strip wires back, crimp them and be a professional on, in that area in order to get these things connected. This cable right here you're seeing is the PV, the solar panels. Power coming in, goes into this box, it converts from here from THHN wire, converts over to the PV solar wire, and plugs in right here into the PV2, which can do up to 6,000 watts of solar panels. We don't have anything in the PV1, which is the top one, that can do up to 3,000 watts. So we've got room to expand the solar array on this. And then this red dial right here is the PV disconnect. So if we need to disconnect power from our solar array, we do have a breaker up there, we can kill the power coming, but we also have one here that kills the power to the EP800 as well. Okay, so how this works is the grid power comes from a panel right on the other side of this wall, the main panel for the whole house. It feeds this disconnect switch right here. That feeds the grid into the Blue Eddy. So that's kind of the backup for this system. And then from here, it powers out, goes up high and drops into this critical loads panel. So the EP800 is powering all of these loads right here, which is basically 95% of the whole house since the large appliances are on propane. So pretty much just about the whole house is on this thing. Another thing about that is it's very portable as well. So I would say within maybe 30 minutes to an hour, I can have the whole EP800 broken down and taken to it. Let's say I bought another house somewhere and I didn't want to leave this for the new homeowner. I could take it with me. I could break it down in less than an hour and it's a sizable investment. So I'm probably going to want to take that with me. And in fact, if I wanted to, I could probably even take it camping with me very easily within an hour, have that thing packed up and ready to go. So uh, very portable, very easy installation. Um, I highly recommend it. And I, I give you guys props for how how modular it is and how easy it's like, it's like Legos basically. Also the EP800, getting it started up, booted up, logging into the app for the first time, getting it set up, piece of cake. It took me less than 60 seconds to have it communicating with my phone, my iPhone. 
and have it running. The EP800 is an all-in-one unit, which means it has the solar charge controllers already built in. It has the batteries, all the breakers already built into it. It's got the inverter. It's also got the switch inside it so it can go from grid to solar seamlessly and even a generator can be operated on it as well. So very simple install. You don't have them to buy a bunch of separate things, wire them and connect them together. It's very simple. It's not a bird's nest of wiring like you see some people's systems on YouTube where they've got wires and breakers and fuses and charge controllers and it looks like you know Frankenstein built this thing. This thing is very clean. It's a very clean install. It looks great on your wall or in your house.